Hi dear students, welcome to Geeta's classes. Today we are going to see a small topic but very important topic congruence modulo M. So before going to the topic, let us recollect some basics of mathematics. Consider this number 6. You can write this as 3 into 2. So we say that 6 is a multiple of 3. 6 is a multiple of 2. Or you can say 2 divides 6. It is not divided by, okay, this is divides. 2 divides 6. This is divides. Or you can say 3 divides 6 also. 3 divides 6. Okay. So when will you say that 2 divides 6? If you can write 6 as 2 into some integer k. Here k is equal to 3. Similarly, 3 divide 6. When will you say that 3 divide 6? If 6 can be written as some k into some integer into 3. That is here uh, k is 2. Okay. So k 2 divide 6 we say. 3 divide 6 we say. When it is possible to multiply that number with an integer, you will get uh, this required number. Okay. Then we say that they divide. So first let us see the definition of congruence. If a and b are integers and m is a positive integer, then a is said to be congruent to b modulo m. If a minus b is a multiple of m or m divides a minus b. Hope you understand this. a minus b is a multiple of m. So a minus b can be written as m into something. Similarly, or you can say m divides a minus b. Okay. And this is denoted by A is congruent to three lines you have to write. A is congruent to B mod M. If you write like this, it is A is congruent to B mod M. That means what? A minus B, M divides A minus B or A minus B is a multiple of uh, M. Similarly, you can say B, if A is congruent to B, you can say that B is also congruent to A because if A minus B is a multiple of M, Definitely B minus A will, be, will also be a multiple of M. One minus will be added, that's all, okay. So A is congruent to B means B is congruent to A also. And M is called here, the name is there. M is called the modulus of the congruence. B is called the residue of A mod M, okay. And if uh, this is a property, if A is congruent to B mod M, then we can write, I told you A minus B is a multiple of M, right? So A minus B is what? A minus B can be written as K into M. So A is equal to B plus KM. Okay, that's what it means. Next, another one more definition. In terms of this also you can write two integers A and B are congruent to congruent modulo M if and only if they have the same reminder when divided by M. Okay, it means the same. So now, if you see some example, 17 and 5 are congruent modulo. Here, this is our A, this is our B. Can you guess what is M? What is A minus B? A minus B is equal to 17 minus 5, right? So 12. So you can write this as congruence modulo 3, you can write, or you, you can write it as congruence modulo 4 also, okay? Because 4 into 3, you can write, or congruence modulo 2 also, you can write. Now another important theorem, this was asked in university exam. So congruence relation is an equivalence relation. You have to, you will be asked to prove that congruence relation is the equivalence relation, is an equivalence relation. Prove that the congruence relation is an equivalence relation. Equivalence relation means what? It should satisfy all the three conditions, right? It should be reflexive and uh, symmetric and transitive. This is, if a, a relation satisfies these three, then we say that it is an equivalence relation. Let us uh, prove this one by one. First to prove one, it is to be reflexive. You have to prove that the congruence modulo M is reflexive. So if A is congruent, A is, uh, when will you say that reflexive? A should be related to A for all integers. Now we are considering the integers only. Congruence modulo uh, M is equivalence relation with respect to integers. Okay, in the set of integers only. Now A is related to A. A, A should be in the uh, integers. Okay, 
So a is, can you say that a, what is a minus a? You have to prove that a is congruent to a mod m. That is to prove that a is congruent to a mod m. Then we say that a is related to a, right? What about a minus a? If you want to prove this, what is to be proved? a minus a. What is a minus a? 0. It should be a multiple of m. You can write it as 0 is a multiple of m, therefore m divides a minus a. Therefore a is related to a for all a in z with respect to integers. Okay. Next is symmetric. Let us see symmetric. What is the condition you have to prove? a is related to b. If a is related to b uh, for all a comma b. Okay. If a is related to b, then b is related to a for all a comma b in the given set of integers. Now we are considering we are considering the relation with respect to integers only. So a is related to b means what? a is related to b means a is congruent to b mod m. That means what? a minus b is a multiple of m or m divides a minus b. This implies, I am directly writing, b minus a is also a multiple of m. Isn't it? Only one minus will be there. So, b minus a is also a multiple of m. Therefore, this implies, this implies b is congruent to a mod m. Therefore, A is related to B implies B is related to A for all A comma B in the set of integers. Therefore, it is symmetric. Now we have to prove transitivity. Third relation is transitive. So, transitive means what? If A is related to B and B is related to C, then you have to prove that A is related to C for all the elements A comma B comma C in the set of integers. Right? So, now consider A is related. So, A is congruent to B mod M implies A minus B is a multiple of M. A minus B is a multiple of M. Similarly, B is congruent to C mod M. Implies B minus C is a multiple of M. Right? So now you consider, what do you want to prove? To prove that A minus C is a multiple of M or A is related to C. To prove that A is related to C or a is congruent to C mod M. So now consider A minus C. You have to prove that A minus C is a multiple of M, right? So can you write A minus C as A minus B plus B minus C? Which is what A minus, you know that A minus B is a multiple of M. B minus C is a multiple of M, right? So, uh, if you add both of them, definitely that will also be a multiple of M. Therefore, which is A minus B plus B minus C is also a multiple of M. Because B and B will get cancelled. Minus B and plus B will get cancelled. Therefore, it is a, also a multiple of M. Therefore, you can say that A is congruent to C mod M. Therefore, it is transitive. The relation is transitive. Right? Therefore, what we have proved now? The congruence relation is the congruence relation is 
We have proved that it is reflexive, comma symmetric, and transitive. Therefore, hence, it is an equivalence relation. So this question was asked in uh, last year. Uh, so please uh, try to study this. Thank you for listening.